Do you know what? Um, when you when you try, well, basically, as uh, the dream for actors to tell interesting stories about interesting people, and they don't come as extraordinary as Stephen and Jane's story. Um, so when I read the script, I fought incredibly hard for this part, but you do it blindly. You do it going, trying to persuade people that you're really confident, you know exactly what you're going to do. It's like any sort of job interview. And uh, so when I did get cast and I realized I had persuaded James, our director, that I knew what I was talking about, I then um, had a moment of elation and then a sort of well, several months of great um, trepidation and fear. It was uh, an amazing privilege, but an amazing responsibility as well. So yeah, it was m many, um, many sleepless nights, but once Stephen and Jane saw the film and were kind about it, then uh, that was an am amazing, I had a very good night's sleep that night. Ed, Eddie, to your left over here. Hi, congratulations. Hey, thank you. Um, as a fellow Brit, congratulations again. <laughs> How does it feel being part of what looks like a bit of a British invasion tonight? A lot of British winners. Uh, is your access in Hollywood a bit better, uh, better than maybe it was before for, for Brits? Do you see any change? Oh gosh, do you know I I, I have no idea. We we uh, for for me, um, I started up doing theatre in London, and I I was really film illiterate, and it's taken. And I just thought you know I'd do plays if I was lucky enough to be. In, Employed and gradually, as I started coming over here and being educated by amazing American directors and actors and British actors and directors, it's it's the whole thing has been a huge education. I I, um, well, I remember when we first came over here, we, we would tend to the Brits would stick together because we because LA is such a confusing city when you first arrive. Um, but uh, no, so I have no idea what this the, the the why there are so many Brits here, but I'm thrilled to be one of them. Were the subtleties harder, or were the more broad strokes of, as we all know, Hawking to be harder for you, or both? Um, the, the interesting thing about the, the process was, was that we didn't, unfortunately we couldn't shoot chronologically. So the, the, the hardest thing was making sure that, that, it, that the performance melded, and that you didn't hopefully look and find the moments or the transitions. Um, the, the interesting aspect of it for me was that when you meet Stephen, even though he can move so few muscles, he has all of the facilities that we have of voice, of gesture, of you know, all of those energies are channeled into those few muscles he can move. And for me, the great privilege of this film was being able to do it on film, as in to do it in, with a camera, being able to see the intricacies and, 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 and the nuances of every minutiae of, of your face. Because when you meet Stephen, that's where his charisma lies. For the latest from HitFix, visit HitFix.com or download the new HitFix app on your Roku device.